What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going on another toy hunt. I got my boy Jonathan with me over here, and uh, he actually hit me up because he has it on BrickSeek, you know, the little update deal, the inventory deal, checker thing, where, you know, it'll notify him that the stock went up, and the stock went up at our local Walmart, and we're going to go. Apparently, they have Elite 85. Hopefully, that's the case. We'll see if they have any new basics, things of that nature, but we're going to find out what they got. We're not only going to hit this Walmart, but we're probably going to go to Target as well. Well, just to see what they have not expecting much but you never know you know I don't do a lot of toy hunts and you know because it, it's typically I'm chilling at the house and then he'll text me and say yo I'm at Walmart and they have everything and then I end up buying it and the only time I do toy hunts is when uh, we can we have a chance to get together and go on the toy hunt so we're gonna go in here hopefully they have some stuff what are you hoping to find Brad mm, probably carrying cross carrying cross elite 85 would be a nice find for sure as far as elite 85 is concerned I probably like I'd pro I, I I'd take an extra Alistair Black. You guys know that he debuted in AEW literally last night. Uh, Undertaker from Elite 85. I thought about Bray Wyatt. Um, and then the, the Scarlet figure I would like to see as well. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll go in here, find out what they got, and we'll see you on the aisle. All right, guys, here we are at the aisle, and they actually have quite a bit here, man. Elite Series 85. We got Bray Wyatt in the house looking pretty good right there. We got the Scarlet Basic, Basic Series 120, I think it is, is in the house. We got Liv Morgan. Here is Shawn Michaels. Jesus Christ, that figure. I mean, I, I totally get it, but I, I just can't bring myself. This Edge is a terrible Basic. I, I can't stand that T-shirt. Couple Bray Wyatt's, Elite 84 Roman Reigns. No other Elite 84 figures I don't think that they have here. They, they've been stuck in that one a lot. Here is Jonathan's Carrion Cross. So Carrion Cross is coming home with Jonathan. We got Kama Collector's Edition Elite 85, which is a really nice find here. I, I typically don't find the Collector's Edition, so I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about this one. May grab it, trying to decide if I want to grab it. Elite 85 Aleister Black. We got Becky Lynch back there, double jointed arms. Elite 85 Undertaker is a really nice find as well. It looks like they only have like one of each set. The Carrying Cross head sculpt is just bad though, man. I, I ugh, The Elite's definitely better in my opinion. We have both versions of Scarlet, which is really exciting. I may pick up both. I'm, I'm still trying to decide. I've been sitting here for a minute now. But I'm actually shocked, man. But anytime my local Walmart gets anything, man, it goes immediately. So, you know, th that's what it is. Like, as soon as we get stuff in, it immediately goes. We've got a couple John Cena basics in the back there. Battle packs, carrying cross again. Not a bad selection, though. You got some Masters of the Universe as well. These have been here for quite a while. This actually used to be the only thing they had, but they're starting to get more stuff. No AEW or anything, but I'm liking the selection. It's actually a pretty decent selection, what we got right here. I think Jonathan's definitely getting carrying cross. I'm still trying to decide what I want, uh, whether I'm going to grab Kama. I, I think I want Aleister Black, Undertaker as well. I'm just really... Uh, I don't know which ones I want to pull on. You know, we could do some action figure surgery and some swippages and swappages and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I got to make a decision, but that is uh, pretty good stuff. All right, guys, we're back in the car, and I actually ended up getting way more than I anticipated because I, I had the ideas to get stuff, but I didn't know if I would actually go through with it. But here we are, so $77 later. But we did go ahead. I grabbed the Kama, I grabbed the Undertaker, I grabbed Aleister Black, and then I grabbed both Scarlets because, you know, I, I might be able to do some fix-ups or something like that with them. And we probably are going to put most of these guys through surgery depending on what we can get here. Uh, I was really intrigued to see what exactly we can do with the Undertaker. And since Aleister Black literally debuted in AEW last night, I figured it was a good time to go ahead and grab that. You never know what to do there. And then we also have Kama here because I never find collector's editions. And Jonathan ended up getting the Carrion Cross figure, which is really nice as well. He's a mock collector, not much of a loose collector, but point still stands, Brad. Everybody is a collector, and they go out for the figures. But anyways, guys, we're on our way to Target. We'll see what they got, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, at Target in the aisle, we don't have a ton going on right here. We do have some Zelina Vegas, tons of Vegas. Got Elite 84 Jeff, Roman Reigns. We do have Rhea Ripley. These Chinas have literally brought it here for a year and a half now, like ever since they came in stock. We got Elite 83 Dusty. We got Elite 84 Garza. Uh, that that Dusty actually had like a freaking tobacco, uh, whatever it's called, stuck to the top of it last week. It was actually pretty disgusting. It looks like somebody had to peel that off. I feel bad for that worker. But we do have some basics in here. Nothing too crazy. Tony Storm actually at my local Big Lots right now, which you guys will see later on. But uh, Bobby Heenan, not much else, man. Elite 84. I thought about grabbing Jeff, but probably need to calm down on the Jeff Hardys, man. 
All right, guys, we have made it back home after our toy hunt. Target really kind of was disappointing for me. Uh, didn't really find a lot there. However, I felt like Walmart was a really big success, as you guys can see right here. So I'm going to pull all the figures one by one out so we can show exactly what we took home here. I know we covered it a little, but let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first figure that we got was the Elite 85 Alistair Black. Really psyched with this, you know. Anytime you see an Alistair Black at retail, probably a good chance that you want to grab it. I feel like a lot of his figures skyrocket in value, especially with him leaving the company now, man. I think this may, I, I don't know how many Alistair Blacks this makes for me, but I'm always open for fix-ups and customs. Really wish it was the Chase variant Alistair Black with the white knee pad or the white slash and the white design on the back. Maybe I can come by one of those one day, but really excited to pick up the Alistair Black figure. While we're there we also grabbed the collector's edition elite series 85 comma now i was going to uh, open this i'm not sure if i'm still going to open it you know ever since i started my mock collection with aew man i've been really tempted to start doing some wwe it's just so much and i don't have enough room man like look at the look at the room does it is there any room man i don't think there's any room in here to be collecting any more mock figures, man. So, also, I just dropped the figure on the floor. So, I mean, it, what what good is it now? The next figure that we got, guys, was going to be Elite 85 Undertaker. Now, what's awesome about getting extras or figures and, and stuff like that and, and, you know, bonus figures, two or three of a certain figure, is because we can do fix-ups now. I remember back when they revealed this figure to us, I said that I wanted to pick up a few, do some head swaps, you know, play around with it. You can make some really fire, you know, customs and fix-ups and stuff. May even cut the jacket off. It'll just depend on exactly exactly what I have in mind there. I think it's the Legends, not the Legends Undertaker, but the 30 Years Taker is the torso underneath. I could be wrong about that, but I really like this Taker head sculpt. Really cool shovel, bandana, and stuff, so we'll, we'll play around. We'll play around with it. We'll get in the lab and the in the surgery table, and we'll see what we can come up with. And we also grabbed basics on this run. Now, you guys know that I do not like basics. Get out of the... However, I felt like it was pretty uh, it was pretty imperative to go ahead and grab both versions of Scarlet. Now, the reason I did this was just to give me a couple different looks, you know. I don't know what my plans will be for these figures, but it's always nice to have for Karrion Cross. And I like the way, you know, she had the blonde hair and then she had the white hair. And I like the, you know, the bodysuit. And I really like the unique hands they used on these figures. So, I don't know. It'll be really interesting to see what we come up with. You know, who knows about pick Fred related. You never know. You never know. And I'm always, you know, excited to expand the... The women's collection just cuz so we'll just see where those stand and everything like that but that is the last two figures we picked up on the toy hunt and i also got some figures in the mail so we have our two scarlets we got our elite 85 taker comma alistair black i also grabbed two elite 82 gronks off of amazon they were like really cheap so i went ahead and grabbed two of them i actually think like i literally just started bishing about mock wwe figures but i'm gonna hold on to these two mock just to see you know they may go up in price that may be worth something in a little while so i'm gonna sit on these i might even order a couple more we'll just see where that goes you know you never really know with with the wwe elite figure market man figures go up to a hundred dollars for no reason sometimes randomly and then this figure back here in this bag i can't tell you guys about that that's a new series coming to the channel which i'm really really excited about and all i have to say is it has to do with shelf warmers and you guys can just play with that but that's gonna be a really fun series hopefully i don't know when that episode will be done and what you know when i'll release that but you guys can be on the lookout for it. but there is our pickup for our toy hunt we got the two scarlet figures here and i think that pretty much wraps it up man but thank you guys so very much for watching the toy hunt i hope you guys did enjoy finally got some stuff in the area hopefully some series 4 aew will hit again soon and maybe even some series 5 soon so we'll have to see about that but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my damn toys and check me out on tiktok but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like uh amazon when they effed up my effing f F. You crossed the line, I've been